All right, I've got Victoria's Secret pink on, sweatpants, tee, not working. Whew, I'm ready to go. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to talk to you guys about something near and dear to my heart and that is time off. I am a big fan of it. I want as much of it as possible and today I wanna to talk to you guys about the ways I utilize my time off to enjoy as much of it as humanly possible. I wanna clarify that time off could mean anything from like a weekend, a personal day, a staycation, a vacation, whatever it may be, here are ways to utilize any form of time off that you have from your job. Tip number one is my least favorite and it is to get the work out of the way. And when I say work, I mean any undone task around the house, your dishes, your laundry, cleaning, anything that has to be done during your time off, if it is not time sensitive or have like a specific time you have to do it during your, your personal time, get it done and get it out of the way. What I do is I'm basically 12 and I bribe myself, I'll set a timer like on my cell phone for 10 to 15 minutes and I'll say, okay, Kristen, when you get home, for you, you know, do whatever you wanna do to relax at the end of the day, set your timer for 10 minutes and take out your trash, laundry, just do, do the unnecessary, or do the necessary and unfun things get your work out of the way. I don't know about you guys, but it actually helps me to get that done so I'm not stressing about it or worrying about it during my time off. Like if I'm sleeping in or making plans to go somewhere and I'm constantly reminding myself to do something, um, it helps just get it out of the way, remind yourself, okay, it's done, I can move on, I can enjoy this time. Tip number two is to get obligations on paper and off your mind. Example for this is right around the beginning of the month is when rent or mortgage is due. So I will get that obligation written out. I'll make sure all those bills are paid. So when it comes time for the weekend, and April's a great example, April 1st and 2nd are Saturday and Sunday, um, it was nice just kind of have all of that stuff written out. Here's what has to get done on these days. So just like that work I already got done, I have everything I need on paper. The whole point of tips one and two are to just kind of let your mind breathe and relax. It's under so much stress and it's under so much stress and tension during the week. It is just so nice to come home and relax, unwind and just know you've got it on paper, it's written down. There's no need to worry about it now. My next tip is to monitor social media use and then disconnect. I know for a lot of us, checking our social media at the end of the day is a nice way to just relax, catch up with friends, kind of see what's going on on the social scene, but it can be really easy to use all of your time off, not really waste it, but just not utilize it to the best that it can be so you feel relaxed and refreshed fully. If you spend all of your time off on your phone or your computer, laptop, tablet, whatever it may be, you might not feel as refreshed or rejuvenated or ready to go back to work as you would if you had gotten out, gotten some fresh air, read a book, cooked, done anything else. So personally, I will just do a quick, you know, check of social media, figure out what I need to do and put it away. I know it's nice, we all like to have it. It's a great luxury, but check it, enjoy it, put it away. All right, my next tip is for those bullet journalers. Is that a word? We're gonna make it a word. Or those people that like to make lists. I actually wrote this one on a list so I could explain it correctly. Every weekend I like to bullet point three optional activities that I would enjoy but I do not have to partake in. For me, I really like to do like the wine and canvas where you get to paint or listen to a soundtrack or learn some new music or try out a new park or something. Um, I don't have to do them but if I'm wondering, hmm, what should I do today? It's my day off, I don't have to work, I don't wanna go and do any like work things around the house, what can I do? I've got it all listed right there. Side note, this does not count for things that you are doing with other people. Those I think you should treat as commitments. They are not optional because that would be super rude. This is just for if you are finding yourself a little more time on your hands, you wanna try something new, you have something you already know is there on paper. I don't know about you guys, I can't keep a log in my brain of, oh, I have extra time. Three weeks ago I said I wanted to do this. I have to have it written out so I can remember I wanted to try this or experience or listen or do that activity. My next tip goes along with the last one, but it's for things that you are kind of already working on. I like to keep books that I'm currently reading, you know, out in plain sight or a CDs that I'm listening to. CDs, oh, I used to listen to CDs, cause I do. I like to keep those things in clear sight so when I'm laying on my couch or wanting to go outside and drink a cup of tea, I know, oh yeah, you know, I was on chapter five of this really great book, I should go back. 
it's almost like you have to set reminders for your time off. It's like you're parenting or supervising your time off, but it's just nice to have them right there, kind of like your bullet points for new activities. Keep the old activities you are currently working on and improving on in plain sight so you can see them. There's a piano downstairs in my living room and I always keep the music I'm working on on like the piano stand so when I walk by I can see, oh yeah, I was working on this song or that musical or that opera and I can see what it is and I know that if I have extra time, it would be good to spend 15, 20 minutes, maybe an hour just working on it. And my last and final tip for utilizing your time off is to just have a slow day. If it can't be a slow day, make it a slow hour or a couple of hours. Take the time to rest, meditate if you need, journal, relax, do whatever you need. For me, I like to have kind of a mini spa day here in my home. I'll take a long hot shower or a bath and I'll deep condition my hair. And then when I get out of the shower, I'll let my hair air dry as long as I can before blowing it dry. While I'm waiting to do that, I'll put on some nice music, light some candles, a little bit of work, I, but I enjoy it is I lay out four business outfits and then my casual Friday outfit in my closet. That alleviates, you know, what do I wear on Monday through Friday? And it's not something that I need to do. It's just kind of nice. What am I going to wear these days? What days do I have, you know, a certain meeting or whatever, but I've already had that written down. It's not stressing me out. I'm just putting it in order in my closet. And then I will finish the night out with either like a glass of wine or now that I am trying to lose my last 10 pounds, I'll have like some lemon water or some herbal tea. That just kind of helps me relax and reset the mind to get ready for the weekend or work week, uh, weekend. Whoa, I wish I went from weekend to weekend. Helps me reset my mind for the week ahead. But those are my tips for how to utilize your time off outside of work. If there's anything that you do, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to give them a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> Can I wear this to Casual Friday? Totally wear this to Casual Friday. Do you guys see that siren? Someone's not getting time off.